just just a reminder to folks that we do record these means and post them on YouTube so folks who aren't here can keep track of what's mm -hmm. what all is going on in the in the group um, got a lot to lot to get to today um, so uh, first thing is uh, Igor uh, uh, wanted to uh, he has done some work on the visual design um, for uh, the summit so I will uh, let him take the screen um, and we'll go from there cool awesome okay I got it All right. and I started sharing so uh, when you are able to see my screen just shout out <laughs> I can I can see it Okay. I can see something. Uh, okay. Uh, can everybody see my screen now? I can. Yep. I can as well. Okay. Cool. I think we're good to go then. Um, uh, let's start with the presentation. Uh, so, um, first of all, allow me uh, to introduce ourselves in just a few words. Um, we are a user experience uh, driven digital agency. Uh, our main focus of business is UX, uh, design and development. Um, there are uh, seven of us and we have in-house uh, both development and design teams. Uh, this pretty much means we produce mostly digital products uh, from the ground up. Uh, okay, that's, uh, that's about it uh, for the introduction. Uh, let's uh, get back to business. Uh, we are going to uh, continue the presentation with the idea behind the logo. Uh, now, uh, before we made uh, anything, of course, uh, we researched what OpenWRT is, and only after getting um, the grasp of this could we start the design process. Uh, and talking about the results, uh, let's uh, first int introduce the sign. So, uh, this is a sign. Uh, there are a few basic concepts behind it. Uh, uh, as you can see, all the circles have open form, suggesting the open nature of the system. Uh, also, uh, it represents uh, the letter O in the open WRT. Um, uh, there are multiple concentric circles um, drawing the eye in the middle, uh, which is uh, the representation of the center or a location. Uh, and lastly, of course, the small circles uh, on the end uh, of the big ones are direct correlation with the circuit board. Uh, moving on, um, uh, we have the complete logo. So uh, this is the rendition of the full logo with uh, information that are necessary, uh, meaning uh, the name of the conference, uh, location, and date. Uh, and just mention uh, that we took uh, special care to balance the elements and the thickness of the lines and typo typography. Um, here are different uh, variations of the uh, logo uh, with their respective application uh, on both dark and light backgrounds. And this pretty much, I believe, self-explanatory, so I believe we're good to go uh, to the next slide. Uh, I should just mention, if you have any questions, you can interrupt me, you can, you know, just ask them, no problem at all. Uh, a few words about typography. Uh, both primary and secondary were cho <laughs> chosen, of course, deliberately. Uh, primary font uh, being Desmanola, uh, which is geometric sans serif, ideal uh, for identities like these, uh, like this one. And um, uh, the type uh, renders uh, well, uh, both on large and small sizes and in print and uh, display screens. So that's important. Uh, the secondary font is Decima Mono. Uh, it's a companion, perfect companion for the mentioned uh, Decima Nova. 
um, the primary typography is provided uh, for usage in titles and the secondary uh, for body text. Uh, I have to emphasize here uh, that the chosen fonts are not free and uh, depending on the styles we're going to use here, uh, I believe the price range is somewhere between, I know, 100 or 200 uh, dollars, uh, depending on the styles we're going to use in the final product. Uh, now, uh, we have a couple of example applications of the identity. Uh, well, here you could, uh, you should uh, be able to see how it would actually look like in use. So first we have a name tag. Uh, and uh, its front and back side. So uh, here you can see the legibility of the name and how the sign uh, works uh, with the typography. Uh, the next one is poster with the schedule information on it. Uh, so I believe this is also pretty much self-explanatory uh, and I believe we are going to conclude uh, this presentation <laughs> with a big thank you for for listening and uh, of course you're going to get this uh, on your emails later on. Uh, hopefully you're going to leave them, you know, so I'm going to send it to you. Uh, I believe uh, that was about it, so if you have any questions or something, feel free to ask. Well, uh, first of all, I just want to say uh, that this is a this is a great job. You did a, did a spectacular work, uh, Igor. That's that looks really cool. To be quite honest. Um, yeah, I th I agree. I think it's beautiful. It's really well done. It is very well done. Um, Thank you very much. Yeah, it 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 really I think targets that. Um, I'll 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 be the uh, the 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 chair who who's responsible for the budget was there any have you done any consideration of using um, a font that is not uh, uh, that's free that something that's free yeah 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 but the difference between the quality is is uh, very large you know okay. uh, you have to pair the fonts and uh, these two work well together and uh, if you're using free fonts. Uh, there are a lot of lot of things you have to consider, and it's much much harder to to get that clean and professional look uh, just using the the free fonts. So I would uh, I would uh, ask you to consider just buying. We can uh, we can probably get away with using uh, maybe two or three styles of fonts. That's pretty much uh, I think hundred bucks or so. So you know. I think that's okay. I okay. mean, I, I I can't do nice design, but I can appreciate it. It looked really nice, nicely done. It does. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah. And typography is the backbone of, of any design, you know. It's it's the thing that really conveys the message that people actually read. So it's it's a pretty important thing to consider in the design. And the rest of us don't don't need that font or that design. It's basically just all of the um, organizational materials, mm -hmm. schedules, mm -hmm. name tags, and website things like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, exactly. so the rest of us don't need that font. Just you. you. Okay. I, I maybe have a question. Uh, okay. I know that uh, sometimes uh, if you want the license f to use a font online on a website, it's much more pricey than if you want it just for printed material. So this is my question. Are we going to use the same font on, online on the website of the summit? And if yes, then it, it, it is, it's, does the price already include this usage? Uh, well, I'm going to send you uh, all the links and all the materials uh, considering the pricing. Uh, of the fonts, and then we can uh, make our final decision considering that. Okay. All right. That well, sounds good. I have one more more question. You 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 mentioned that you considered the the thickness of the lines and so on. Uh, yeah. Do you think it will work well on a T-shirt? Because on a T-shirt, usually, it's better to have like thicker thicker lines even though we have ourselves done very thin lines, but it's still 
uh, it, it wraps uh, wraps off easier when when there is a thin line. So a thick line is better for a T-shirt, I would say. So just any 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 comments on this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, the application on the T-shirts uh, we will have to consider. Actually, uh, we will have to talk. Uh, if we are going to make any more materials or uh, or not, I we you have to talk with Andre about that. Um, this is just the uh, just the presentational uh, materials we uh, we made, you know, just for the uh, presentation of the logo. Um, uh, I believe uh, we didn't talk uh, anything about uh, the the other materials. Development, but I believe if we uh, use uh, just just logo on a T-shirt and uh, consider uh, the size, uh, I believe it will print nicely. So, of course, you can uh, also you can take the logo. We're going to deliver everything uh, in open format, uh, Adobe Illustrator or PDF, whatever you need, and you can uh, do with, uh, with with it whatever you want, of course. Uh, apply it on all the materials you need yourself, of course. So oh, okay. I believe uh, it will transfer well on on uh, t-shirts and all the other materials. Okay, thanks. Sounds great. Uh, uh, that, that, this, it's really fantastic you are, I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions from anyone? All right. Well, uh, thank you, Igor, for the presentation. I look forward to mm -hmm. to to seeing more of the of the documents, and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, we can we can go from there. But thanks. It, it, it's a really it looked it looked really good. Thank you very much. Thanks. Um, now, uh, Eric, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, could you uh, maybe just shoot me an email uh, because I plan on forwarding this uh, presentation to you uh, to anyone who needs to have it like uh, could you just give uh, shoot me an email uh, with a list of people I should email this this presentation to okay sure I don't know if I have your email actually um, the, it's Igor at prototype dot digital okay um, it's like and Andre at prototype dot digital it's just Igor. okay Okay. okay. Uh, I right there we go. Thank you. I got it. Okay. So uh, uh, if there are no more questions, uh, I believe I'm going to leave you guys. Okay. Or if you need me to stay uh, in a meeting for whatever reason, I'm available, of course. Okay. No, I, I, think, I think we're good, but thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay, cool. Thanks. So, uh, again, any questions, you can shoot me an email and we can talk more. Will do. Okay. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye. All right. Well, uh, we will then move on to the rest of our agenda. Um, the big thing is the sponsorship. Um, the sponsorship uh, present or program. Um, Kathy and I worked on this a bit over over the last few weeks, and uh, kind of going to go through. Um, this is kind of the content for a prospectus. Uh, we don't have. This is obviously not as pretty as yours by any means because it's just in the document. Um, but we may be able to uh, reuse a lot of what he's done uh, um, on this uh, topic. So I'll just kind of go through uh, this what we have so far. In the sponsorship prospectus, and then also what the uh, sponsorship levels are. And Kathy, please jump in if there's anything that I have not mentioned. Um, uh, the first thing is is just we we summarize it's the annual. Uh, it provides an opportunity for core OpenWRT lead community members to gather face to face and collaborate with silicon vendors, ODM, OEMs, other industry contributors, and technical users. Um, we mentioned the growing attendance uh, that we had 80 in 2015. 
uh, 120 in 2016 and a target of over 150 this year. Um, we mentioned some of uh, who has come together in the previous summits, uh, particularly Silicon Industry, Carrier ISP, open source companies and, and projects, and there's lots of obviously other people. Um, does, does anyone just looking at that list, those bullets, like if, if you're at a company that you want to see or a or name or project or something like that, I mean, this was just like loosely off the top of Eric's head and <laughs> my head, and obviously it's not an exhaustive list. So if you can come up with something off the top of your head, shout it out right now. I, I just have one note. Uh, mm -hmm. CZ Nick is written everything in capitals. Okay. Thanks. No problem. I did not know that. I appreciate that. Um, and we can think of, I'm sure, we'll, we can think of other ones too, but um, those are the ones that came to mind. Um, the summary was that the talks are mostly technical but mixed with an opportunity to share and discuss the vision of OpenWRT lead going forward. Uh, many attendees have commented the value of the, of the breaks of 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 the breaks for networking and breakout sessions, which is why 2017 can, includes a second day, more free format with ha hacking marathons, workshops, and small discussions. Uh, there were 13 talks in 2015, 18 talks in 2016. Uh, mentioned how many people watched it. Uh, we uh, 5,900 views in 2015 and 10 over 10,000 in uh, 2016. Um, a short summary of what all is planned, um, particularly that we have talks scheduled using a call for presentations for the first day. And the second day, we describe it as hands-on workshops and tutorials, marathon hacking, and small group meetings and other development activities. And then this is kind of a uh, little bit of uh, general information. Um, the, uh, I'm not quite sure where we need to put this, but this is this is I think valuable. Let's just say it's the only annual conference focusing on Open WRT Lead, the premier embedded Linux distribution used on millions of devices, both by enthusiasts and large organizations. Um, and we summarize who are attends these these events um, and who we're targeting. Um, the big thing here is sponsorship tiers, um, and this is this is an area where we're going to need some some uh, feedback. I think, uh, basically, uh, to summarize, that we would have three sponsorship tiers. I'm trying to get it so we can fit everything in. Please let me know if you can't see anything. Um, platinum, gold, and silver. Uh, the big things to note is that that the sponsorship for platinum is five thousand. Gold is 1,000 and silver is 500. Um, a few things that that I wanted to mention is that with platinum, we I put in a 15-minute keynote. Um, it must be approved by the committee, so you can't just talk about more or less anything. You have to talk about something that makes sense to the community. Um, this I could see being a little controversial, but at the same time, I think it makes sense. I mean. You know, if you're spending five thousand dollars, you may want to be able to say some something. Um, I don't think if we had, uh, I put down two. Uh, we potentially could have more, but I, you know, if we do that, we want to make sure that they're probably not all at the same time. You know, right after another, somehow split them up. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure the best way to do that, but I, I have some fears that if we had like you know two or even four in a row, that it might be a little much. Um, so do, we ha do anyone have any feedback? Does that, does that seem uh, like something we can, people feel, you know, the community be comfortable with or we're comfortable with? Um, I want, basically, my concern is I want to make it value the sponsorship valuable, but I also don't want to be, you know, uh, harming the quality of the conference or the experience. Uh, maybe I have a question. Mm -hmm. Where do where does CZ Nick fit in? Because I see that you can sponsor a social event as a platinum member, but this is already something that we yep. uh, we are planning to do. Uh, so uh, that that was the yes. Yeah, so this is my question. 
that is that I wrote it that way because I intended that that CZ Nick since you're sponsoring it, um, and I assume you're going to spend five thousand dollars that it will be you would get the sponsorship in kind. Um, oh, okay, okay, yeah. This is what uh, I, I would I would suggest it would uh, be yes, helpful. absolutely, um, definitely. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Any other okay. thoughts about the keynote? Uh, or I think maybe the keynote, if if we want to, even two, uh, have even two, then maybe we can make it shorter. Uh, okay. Like because I, I I I'm not sure how well it will be received mm -hmm. by by the audience. So if we keep it short like very five to ten minutes then it might be easier for people to, to swallow it yeah one other thought that I had considered is um, splitting up the keynotes so that they're not all at the beginning of the day um, right after another mm -hmm. you could you could have one and then uh, no problem uh, Federico appreciate you making it um, one other way we could do it is say you have a keynote at the beginning of the day and then a you know that a sponsored keynote and then a key a sponsored keynote um right after lunch or something um i i i don't know if that makes sense does um the only question i'd have with that is uh you know people that uh, it depends on how the lunch is organized if it's sort of free format and you don't get everyone back together then it's not as opportunistic for the second keynote mm -hmm. the first one the first one you're going to have everyone there yeah and the first one could break people up i i agree if you had it depends on how we do lunch if we have lunch together in one place then i would do the second keynote during lunch do we do have we decided what well i mean i think i think lunch is is going to be at the uh, of, you know at the event it's going to be catered so um uh, if i may if i may jump in uh, mm -hmm. lunch will be served uh, outside the like the meeting room in a in a lobby i have sent a uh, like simple map just a few minutes ago oh awesome ah but it awaits approval because it's too large okay so <laughs> once you once you approve, approve it, it. Maybe, okay others will see it and so it will be outside the like the meeting room mm -hmm. and i think from my experience this is usually the time where like everybody almost everybody leaves and everybody's talking outside so uh, i don't think it would be a good time to to do the keynote but i think okay. it can be done just after the lunch because usually uh, at least uh, as we do it we, we reserve enough time for really the people to to to, to have the lunch to, to discuss something and then we uh, usually just hurry them inside and I would say that 95% of, of the people just return back so at least this is my experience so I think well, it, it the other option the, yeah, the other lunch. the other option is the second keynote right before the lunch you know where people are sort of waiting to get their lunch you gather them all in and just say okay you know such and such sponsors I don't know. That's that's the couple options. I think I agree with with Beta. Probably before or at, right before or right after the launch is probably mm -hmm. a good slot. Okay. I would be afraid that people would just uh, hurry out of the room if, if it was directly right, in before. before the launch. So that's a fair point. I think we can think about it. But I, it, okay. am I correct in in that people feel that they should not be all together? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think you should have yes, one. Yes, this makes yeah. sense. Okay, okay, so we'll... I think, we'll... think CZ Nick should be the morning one, because they're hosting this whole thing. I think CZ Nick should be the morning one, and whoever else is platinum should be the afternoon one. Okay, I think that makes sense. Yeah, it, it would make sense for me as well to, to, to be able to, like, uh, yeah, to, to say hello to everybody, mm -hmm. to welcome them in Prague and so on. It, it, it would make sense. Definitely, definitely. This is this is another question I have. Mm -hmm. If one of the two platinum members is Cezanne, uh, 
which is paying for the social, then we have only one platinum member, which will uh, put money into the rest of the of the budget. Uh, is it enough? What? what, what uh, um, if I count correctly, we need something like one platinum, uh, and then I don't know. 10 to 15 gold and a few silver ones? Yes. Um, the, the estimate was uh, we need one platinum, um, one platinum, five gold, and ten silvers, um, plus uh, uh, the $50 uh, ticket price. Ah, okay, yeah, there's the ticket. I, I forgot that. Um, I, we, can, we can adjust this. I mean, I, I don't know how many more... My concern is is we may be able to find more than more platinum members. I, I don't know, um, which would mm -hmm. sim simplify this significantly because obviously we don't have to go to as many people. Um, but uh, I I worry about having uh, you know enough uh, enough things to sell, so to speak. You know we could okay. do, two two is just kind of like a round number that you know certainly at least two. Um, but we could do more. I mean, if you're going to have, uh, specifically if you have a designated sponsorship of a lunch or social event, we have opportunities for three. Um, but my concern was whether we had, you know, that would be too much. Or we, you know, so. Mm -hmm. We could consider well, then three. Just, I would just put three available then, okay. you know. Okay. Because the third one could be at the end of the day or the second day. I mean, it depends on the sponsor, but. Yep. Okay. I think that's a good idea. If we could get three three platinums, that would be spectacular. We would just yeah. know, save a ton of work for everyone. Um, all right. Uh, then the next things is is the logos on the t-shirts. Uh, logo the platinum we get a large logo on the t-shirt. Uh, the uh, gold we get a small, and the silver would get their name put on the t-shirt. Um. As mentioned, the Platinum would get a sponsored membership or, or designated sponsorship of a lunch or social event. Um, so that, that to beta was confusing, so it might be confusing to others to understand that okay. what that means. Um, I'm trying to think of the right wording. I mean, the sponsorship cost is 5000 but what we're saying is 5000 will include whatever they pay for the paying for the lunch or the social event. Is that right? No, in 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 CZ Nick's case, normally what would happen is if you're a if you're a platinum sponsor, you would you would pay the the you know I guess it would be purple, but whoever's holding onto the money to and then then they would pay for the for the social event. Whereas in, in CZ Nick's case, they're just skipping the middleman and go just paying for it. Um, so basically, what the designated sponsorship, all you'd be getting is. Is if you if you were a platinum member, one of during the lunch or the social event, you would get like a sign, and we would say, "Oh, hey, it's sponsored by, you know, whoever." Um, oh, okay. So, uh, so in other words, CZ, CZ Nick, you know, the the social event sponsored by CZ Nick, rather than paying the five thousand to Purple to pay for the social event, yeah. they're just paying for the social event. Yes. Got it. I mean, unless they want to do it the other way, I, I don't really care. It, it 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 works out either way. But um, I think it would be easier to for us to just pay it uh, direct, here. Yeah, in, in yeah I, I would and, agree. But also, there is no like we we haven't decided that the budget is exactly five thousand. It probably will be slightly more, but it's not not like an issue. For, okay. So. Awesome. It would be much easier for us just to pay for the social. And yeah, and, and it, I don't see an issue there. So, um, yeah. So if, if there's if there's a different way to phrase that, I don't. Uh, other than designated sponsorship, I, I don't know how. How we want to do that. Any suggestions or? I'm thinking. Okay. <laughs> Hasn't come to me yet. Hmm. I'll keep thinking. Okay. Yeah, if others have ideas, we can um, please do let me know. Um, maybe maybe just one. Uh, uh, there will be only one social event, as far as I know. And, and yes, this is already determined that it, it 
will be paid for by CZNIC. So maybe we can just uh, like remove this mention of the social even from the table if we distribute it then then to other partners so that there is no confusion like, yeah, I want to sponsor the social event and we then have to tell them, no, but this is not possible anymore, it's already taken. So. What do you think? That's fine with me. Uh, we could because just... I, I imagine this is, this, is, this is already something that you would like send to the, to the possible sponsors. Yeah. yeah. Sponsors. So, so designated launch of, uh, oh wait, designated sponsors of, uh, as lunch sponsor. or coffee break, as sponsor of yeah, as designated as sponsor of lunch or coffee breaks. I mean, what's the other? What was the third option? Social. Well, I mean, there were the, the third options was you was the lunch um the lunch on the first day, lunch on the second day, oh, lunch, lunch and then the the social day. event. Um, okay. What we could say is simply there's two platinum sponsorships available because CZNIC has one of them. And you could be designated as the sponsor of the launch. Um, okay, designated as sponsor of launch day one or day two. Uh, that kind of thing. There. Okay. Okay. And I think we talked about just changing the three lines of the t-shirts just to be one row and put in the box, large logo, gold, small logo, silver, um, sponsor name. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Definitely, we could we could all make that one one line to simplify that. All right. Um, social media mention and post and blogs. We would just specifically uh, call out platinum. I I mean I'm not sure that how exactly we want to go about doing that. Um, and I um, uh, Tamara has actually. Talked to has a the social media information uh, she had sent to me, and we can we're also go through that, but we can kind of work that into the into this. Um, this was a this was a, a one that we wanted to discuss, but um, <clears throat> some some events they allow you to have an opt in. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're a sponsor, you you're allowed to get opt in marketing email addresses. Basically, when people register, they can choose to uh, whether they want to um, receive inf information from sponsors, um, and then the ones that w that do want to, uh, the platinum and gold would receive access to those. How do people feel about that? Well, if it, if it's voluntary, then I, I don't see any problem. On the other hand, I myself probably wouldn't use this source for anything because, well, I, I don't like spamming people. So. Yeah, I know that feeling. Um, yeah, I've, I'm I'm kind of in the same boat. At the same time, this is kind of common, so I I just don't I don't want it to be like. As this, I, it also could be valuable potentially for the sense mm, of. Yeah, yes, uh, I I think as a. Uh, as a marketing tool for the program, it, it could be it could be interesting. So we can keep it if if it's opt in from the user's point of view, then mm -hmm. I don't see any problem. I I think the value for uh, rather than thinking of it as spam marketing, the value also is just for conference attendees to have met or interacted with people, but the person doesn't have a business card or something, and you don't remember their email address, and so. I mean, obviously, that's not available to everyone, and there's all these mailing lists you can find people anyway. But yeah, I don't know. I have mixed mixed feelings. I think it's it's kind of a typical thing at conferences. Is it a value here? Questionable. I don't know. Yeah. My other my other concern my other concern is with opt in and and given the mix of people we're gonna have. I don't. Th I think we're gonna have very few people opt in. Mm, yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, so if, if people don't opt in, so then maybe we shouldn't even do it because it does just give that image of, of being a more marketing-oriented conference, yeah. which is really not. Okay, we will take that strike. row out, delete row. Okay, um, 
the uh, recognition pre-conference email marketing, that's more, when I say email marketing, that's basically uh, when you send the email, you know, that, that people who have signed up uh, a few days before, or, you know, you send them something that says, oh, hey, here's a reminder, the event's coming up, here's where it is, uh, here are the things you need to know, oh, yeah, here are also our platinum and gold sponsors kind of thing. Um, it's that kind of... Uh, I don't even know what they call those, but it's kind of like logistics information you often tell people uh, a little bit before the conference. Um, we would specifically say that if you are a platinum or gold sponsor, you get recognition in the conference keynote. Um, when I say conference keynote, I'm, uh, I guess we probably should call these different because it's conference keynote and keynote. Uh, the intent is just basically, oh, hey, that uh, when someone... I, I, I assume it'll be myself or somebody, uh, somebody else on the committee saying, oh, hey, welcome to the conference. Um, just, you know, here's the information about the code of conduct. And then also say then we have the uh, conference. Uh, here are our platinum and gold sponsors. And we encourage you to, to meet with them or uh, learn more about them kind of thing. Uh, that's what that is. Um, the platinum, gold, and silver, you can add an item to a swag bag. Um, these are kind of, it seems like a pretty, these are pretty common at conferences. Uh, I, I, they're of mixed use, um, but we, uh, I'm happy. They're also a easy way for, pe for people to feel like they're getting some value. Um, these, uh, sponsors, so, um. Does that make sense to people? Mm, yes, definitely. Okay. Um, the one of the thing was that uh, everyone would get an exhibit table if they wanted it. I assume some would just they they have no interest in it. Um, and the the uh, other one was uh, the silver might get half the size of a table, uh, so you would have two uh, on one uh, table. You'd have two silver members. My biggest concern with this is not – I think that this is kind of, a, kind of necessary in some level. My concern is, is that we don't run – we don't sell too many tables, so to speak, in, in that we run out of a uh, uh, place to put people. Um, I don't want to end up with a situation where we have you know, uh, way too many people and you know, the tables are all over the place and nobody sees them and uh, – so what do, what do people think about this? Is there a better solution? Um, also, I, I guess the other thing is, is the, does the venue even really support a place for this easily? Uh, I, think, I think it does. Uh, uh, I, will, I will definitely discuss this with them, but uh, there, there should be, there should definitely be some space for this because uh, when we looked for the place, we already like counted uh, with with the possibility that we would have such such tables there. I don't I don't know about the number, but uh, the the main meeting room is organized so that there is like um, uh, the main the main part of the room, and then there is. Another part, which is slightly higher, like raised a few steps uh, above the floor of the of the like main main part of the room, and this probably wouldn't be necessary for us to to go to these upper like levels because it, we wouldn't be enough to fill in the the first part probably. Mm -hmm. So the tables could be even there, like part of the of the main room. And they would only be they like would be only meant during during breaks and so on. Mm -hmm. But but maybe we would even fit outside the room. I will I will discuss this with with uh, with our staff. We will okay. check it. Uh, and I will I will at least get some kind of estimate of what number of tables we will be able to support so then we can maybe say okay silver ones cannot have a table because it's too they are too precious or something okay Just too precious 
Yeah, that, that's definitely uh, – that's a good idea. Pl thank you. Please do that. One of my thoughts was that the silver one is effectively just getting an exhibit table because I can see organizations that they're just uh -huh. like, I can't uh, – I want to be there, um, but I don't care that much about getting you know a ton of recognition. I just want to be there because I'm selling you know, my router with all these you know cool things that I want to show people. Um, but yeah, that, that's a, it's an interesting point. You're you're like, well, maybe that we have to worry that we're gonna have too many. You know, we're not gonna have space if we do that. Uh, I will def definitely check this out before the next meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, there is even one room here on the plan which isn't it, it, it isn't mentioned there. What what exactly is mm -hmm. there? I know, so we can we can check this or. Uh, there are the rooms for the workshops, so maybe for the first day we could have some some of the tables inside the workshop rooms. I, I will simply check this uh, okay. with, with with the staff, and I will come up with a number, and we can then decide. Okay, sounds good. All right. Um, the next thing would be the recognition on the event website. I don't think that there's anything. Um, too surprising there and it would have followed the same kind of um, hierarchy as the t-shirts you would get a large logo if you're on platinum smaller logo if you're gold and uh, just your name with a link to your website all these would be linked to your website um, and then the then we'd include the, the passes uh, platinum would get six gold would get three and silver would get two passes um, it's not a significant amount of uh, savings, but it is something so people feel like they're getting some value with that. Um, is there anything here that we uh, feel, you know, uh, other than the ones we've kind of discussed already, uh, anything here that we need to reconsider or something that we need to, um, we want to add to this? All right. All right. Um, then I will actually send this around to, um, I'll, you know, send people a link to this so they can see it um, and people can give some more feedback and, and we can we can work from there. And I, I think that um, hopefully by the next meeting um, we will uh, be able to start talking to potential sponsors and, and getting their feedback. Um, you know, one more thing I was thinking is maybe we should add some fine print at the end of uh, purple and CZ Nick are already recognized as platinum sponsors. Well, the assumption was that that purple would be having to pay to be the platinum sponsor. Um, yeah, right. Which but we have, maybe, haven't okay. committed to okay. doing. I'm just saying that the platinum two available, if you say purple and sees that Nick are platinum sponsors, there's two left, basically, is the better way to say it, right? Oh, I, I, I assumed that we would have three total, and CZ Nick was the only one that was for sure. I mean, I, Purple's going to do oh, it. So, so. Wait, wait, so you think Purple's not going to put in 5,000, you don't think? No, we will, but I have yeah. to get that approved, yeah. is all I'm saying. Right, right, right. So other than CZ Nick and Purple, do we still have two Platinums available or not? Then we'd have one. Then we'd have one. Okay. Because because the one thing that may, that the limitation is the sponsorship of a lunch or social event, and we only have three of those total. Um, right. So okay. we, unless we have some other way to designate that. Um, yeah, Got it. That's okay. how it would have to be done. So then I'm still back to thinking that it's three available. I mean, it's, I mean, three total available and two are left, essentially. Three total, two, two available. Available being yeah. still there. You can still, still available. Yeah. Right. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. 
All right. Um, well, since there's nothing else, we can uh, we can move on from that. I really appreciate everybody uh, giving some feedback on that. And uh, if you have additional, please do let us know. And I look forward uh, better to also learning more about the the table situation. Uh, I will I will have it uh, ready um, on the next meeting latest. Mm -hmm. If I have it before that, I will send it by email. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Beta. Um, so the social media guidelines. Uh, I got this from, from Tamara, and first of all, I really appreciate it, Tamara. It's been very helpful. Um, a, it's a really good start. Uh, so the, I got this from Tamara, um, and we can kind of go through it. Uh, the, the, it was really good. Uh, one thing is it, it was a little bit, I think, probably more targeted towards talking about purple more than the OpenWRT Summit. There was a little, it was a mix. So I kind of want to know, um, we can review this a little, but I think we're probably going to want to target slightly different channels. Um, I'm not sure what those are exactly. Um, but uh, I'll, since we only have nine minutes, I, I don't know if it makes sense to go through this right now. Um, but uh, what do people think? It's, a, it's about two pages yeah two pages could could you send out the link for review or yeah I can do that definitely yeah, and we can do yeah we'll definitely I'll we'll definitely do that and we can do some edits and improve it uh, over time um, and uh, but first of all I, again Tamara thank you so much uh, yeah. I would I would not have have been able to do this uh, I don't think anyone else would so your experience is very helpful because my question, I mean, the, the broader summary question, I mean, the detail is excellent. The broader summary question is, would we want to allow multiple channels uh, for LinkedIn, multiple channels for Twitter, multiple, I mean, is that okay? Or do we have to pick one? That's sort of the overarching question. I don't know how these how these programs work. So, uh, Tamara, how does that does it is it ever that you have multiple channels for the same uh, for the same service or Tamara? If you if you're speaking, we can't hear you. Because maybe if there's if there's not a uh, we should look toward OpenWRT lead websites and social mm -hmm. media as opportunities first, and if those don't exist, we can either create some or uh, or use something else. Tamara says it'd be ideal to have one for each. Um, yeah, that's an, that's, okay. that's an interesting point. Um, it could I mean, be. Why, did, why didn't LinkedIn have a Open WRT group, Open WRT lead group, right? They may. I don't. I've never actually looked. I'll be honest. Um, the other thing is, is I, I have no problem with with doing it. The stuff on the purple blog. I just don't want to get into a situation where people think it's only purple. Um, exactly. Yeah. Uh, that that's always the thing we 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 have to be careful of. Um, so we can we can look into this. I think a, a little bit more on what we want to use the channels as. Um. Yeah. So I, we can we can we'll have some more feedback on this and and some tweaking. But uh, yes, there is the open the Facebook Open WRT group. I'm not sure how much it's used. Um. But yeah, it does exist. Who manages it? That is a spectacular question. I, I have no idea, Federico. Um, uh, it's, yeah, we'll have to ask. It could, it could be one of those that takes, takes a little bit of searching. Um, so yeah. Okay. Um, 
so we'll uh, we'll think about this some more, um, and I'll let people review it, and we can we can go into some more detail on how exactly we want to move forward with it. Um, but I think it's really good in general. Um, in the five minutes we have left, we can we can look at topics. Um, uh, the first four are complete. Um, recruit sponsors. We, we will do that. Um, research technical day event locations. That, that's not an issue of event locations. Um, one thing would be the actual researching what we're going to do at the event. Uh, Federico, do you have any feedback on that? I know you're on chat, so it might be a little bit uh, difficult uh, to summarize it. Okay. I, I would say I would say just keep keep looking into it. Um, I I know there's I I know there was some interest. Um, who was it that said uh, Hans had said? Um, I think you should just keep keep trying to get some some feedback from people. I I'm sure they're interested, but everybody's it's. In in OpenWRT and Lead is is really busy. Yes, I, I think one on one's best. Yeah, I think you'll get a little bit more more response with one on one. All right. Um, the social and catering events were done. Uh, the Manage OpenWRT website. Uh, Antonio, uh, you had said that you uh, have some changes that you're going to uh, send as a pull request to me? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, there are some new, uh, some new elements I, I noticed on the document to share today, so I'll make yeah. sure to add some more updates and uh, make a pull request. Awesome. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, the run and plan use of social networking accounts we discussed. Um, recruit speakers, I guess we could sort of start with that, but it's um, a little early. Design logo, that's done, um, or near done. Uh, recruit key participants, design t-shirt. Uh, we're kind of, most of those are either in the future or um, not immediate. Uh, so, um, I think that's all I have. Um, does anyone else have anything right now in the last few minutes? Well, I had some uh, like homework from oh, last yes. time. So uh, I, I sent out the, the plan of the, of the venue and the mm -hmm. surrounding areas so that uh, you know where, where the coffee breaks will take mm -hmm. place and the lunch and so on. Uh, which is also important because I think Hauke last asked last time if there will be some space where you could discuss stuff uh, outside of the main, mm -hmm. main room. So this would be in the like in the foyer uh, outside the main room where the coffee break will be and so on. Uh, also, uh, I am still discussing the the connectivity with the, with the hotel, but I think we will be able to. Uh, to provide some extra connectivity, especially for the for the meeting, so it should, it should be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I think their capacity is, I would say, on just on the just sufficient, maybe enough. But I would like to be sure, so I would like to raise it slightly <laughs> higher for for the duration of the summit, so that we can really make sure that the connectivity will be okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Definitely. Right now, uh, we have uh, already a reservation for 100 rooms, but it's only uh, valid till uh, middle of May uh, because they don't want to keep the rooms reserved for a longer time unless we have some kind of like already written contract with them that the meeting will take place there. Okay. So. Uh, this is something that I think 
uh, see that Nick would do on our side because it would be probably easiest to 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 do this contract with them and so on on, on our side. Okay. Uh, the only thing I I need is some like final confirmation that this is really the venue where we would want to do it. So I, I think there is nothing that would like. Uh, cast any doubt on this decision, but uh, there are still there is still the the topic of of tables. How mm -hmm. many tables we can squeeze in? Uh, the connectivity maybe. And I would like to ask you if you have anything else you would like to ask about the venue or that should be that you think should be taken care of before that. Please let me know in the following week or or to at the latest so that we can really make clear all the all the points and then decide okay we want to do this we want to sign the contract because after that there, there will probably be no way back so <laughs> Definitely. if you have anything just, just just let me know so that we can clarify any uncertainties before I, I think the venue sounds great I have a question on this day, uh, workshop day two uh, activity stuff is that is that going to be is that going to facilitate groups broken out doing different things or is everyone in just one room again? No, there. Uh, but once Eric frees the the plan for for the rest of you, you will see that there are uh, right now I can see like four separate rooms. Okay. For this, and one of them can be even like split into into three smaller parts. So, excellent. Uh, there there think, should be a okay. place for even small working groups. Because I think another thing for day two, something I've done at conferences in the past, more recently, is taking these little workshops where you actually get to play with something and learn something new, and we could uh, that could be. I'm thinking now to myself. Wow, that could be another way for, um, I don't know if we have, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think, think of would that be a sponsor or would they people coming into workshop who actually want to train and then make a little money or, I don't know, just little training programs. We'll see. Um, it'd be nice if they were just free, yeah. Let's try to encourage them all to be free. But yeah, someone who had come in and trained some topic on OpenWRT or packaging or I, I don't know what all, you know, or a specific mm -hmm. platform. Um, this might be even a possibility for, for sponsors to sponsor some kind of yeah. Yeah. thing like the, I don't know, routing in, in OpenWRT and sponsored by, I don't know, whoever. Oh yeah, that's an interesting yeah. thing. Um, that the that discussion uh, we're three minutes over, so I don't want to keep pe people longer than they need to be. Um, but uh, Federico, one thing that Kathy and I had thought of when we were discussing the sponsorship, we kind of were just uh, talking, was the idea of um, doing a some sort of documentation. I don't know if we would call it a documentation sprint, but um, encourage people who have uh, who have designed features in uh, in OpenWRT Lead to do a presentation on the feature, and then specifically have people there to who are doing uh, who are interested in documentation to document what they are saying, so that the feature is actually documented. Because um, there are a number of features in OpenWRT Lead, kind of a sprint for documentation. Um, but uh, specifically so that the people who design the feature can just, they don't have to go into a bunch of work and doing the documentation um, themselves. They just need to talk about what they did, sort of. And then the people doing the documentation can kind of, you know, ask a couple questions. And so we have something for some of these features. Um, yeah, I, I, think, I think Kathy came up with that, and that was a, it was a really good idea. I, I, I think it's a fantastic way to get documentation done without requiring a lot from the the developers who are you know overburdened and don't have enough time to do it anyway um, they just need to talk about what they did basically yeah. especially if it's a hands-on thing you know the developer just kind of goes through and walks
talks people through it and everybody else has got TypeScript running or some other way to screen capture or take notes while they're listening mm -hmm. and then they and then they clean it up afterwards and turn it into a, a wiki or something. Definitely. So yeah, that you might want to Federico, you might want to bring up that idea too. I don't know if it, if how exactly we want to phrase it and stuff, but it, it would be a, probably a good way to to you know show how we're how we're we're doing stuff. How this will, this will be helpful for the community. Okay, um, that's all I have. Uh, we're six minutes over, so um, I don't want to keep anybody longer than uh, than uh, need be. Um, are there any other uh, questions we want to discuss or comments? All right. Um, then our next meeting um, in two weeks is on the 3rd of May. Um, and then uh, obviously if you have any other uh, topics that you'd like to discuss, don't hesitate to post them on the list. All right. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Eric. Bye. 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 Bye.